Hello and welcome to Soft IQ Technologies. In today's video, we'll be looking at how to upgrade Udu 17 community to enterprise in Ubuntu in a production environment. Below is the agenda we are going to cover. We'll continue from where we left off where we had installed Udu 17 community. Then we are going to take a backup of our community database. We'll then uh, stop the Udu service and download the enterprise add-ons. After that, we are going to update the add-ons path parameter in the Udu config file. Then we are going to start the Udu service. Next, we are going to install the web enterprise module. And finally, we are going to purchase the enterprise license. So uh, there is a available documentation that guides us uh, for this process, which we are going to follow. So if you come here to the Udu documentation, there's uh, the process of uh, upgrading from community to enterprise edition. And uh, the first part we are going to do is we are going to take a backup of our database. So to do that, we can just come here to the web database manager. And you can come here and take a backup. You have to put a master password. Depending with the size of your database, the backup may take some time. Uh, but if it's a small database, it's going to be a bit faster. So after taking a backup, then we can continue. So basically in a production environment, uh, to ensure the integrity of the data, we require to stop the service so that uh, users do not continue posting as we are doing the upgrade. So to do that, we are just going to run these commands. So we are going to open our terminal and uh, we are going to SSH to our cloud server and then we can run these commands. So we are going to stop the Udo service. This may take some time because uh, the service was running initially. And then once the service is stopped, we can be able to check the status. Okay, so once the service is stopped, you can check the status. And from here, we can see that the service was uh, stopped successfully, took some time. Then the next part is uh, we need to download the enterprise source code from Git. For this, we need to have access to the Udo Enterprise repository on GitHub. So we're going to run this command to download the enterprise uh, add-ons. So, uh, in case you get this error, in case you get the error permission denied public key, you need to create a new GitHub SSH key, which is the same error we have received here. So, to do this, uh, we are going just to search for how to create a GitHub, uh, how we are going to generate a new SSH key. They are going to follow these instructions, so we are going to choose for Linux. So the first part is um, open the terminal, and then we are going to paste these uh, commands, which I have them here. Uh, for the email, there you need to so you can say yes here. And then it's going to give us that error that uh, permission denied. So we can paste our command here. And uh, this one you can put your GitHub uh, email. You can enter here so that uh, it chooses the default uh, root password we're going to enter a blank passphrase 
Okay, so the next part is adding your SSH key to the SSH agent. So from here, we are going to just uh, copy this. Just replace this. And ensure there are no special characters here. The dollar sign. It has generated this process ID. Then the next part is um, we're going to add the SSH private key to the SSH agent. So I'm just going to copy this. So it's going to tell us that uh, the identity has been added. So the next part is um, so we're going to add a new SSH key. So this is uh, you can just open this link. So from here you can also choose Linux. Then you can just copy this. So this is adding a new SSH key to your GitHub account. So we can just copy this and uh, paste on the terminal. Okay. Okay, so it has generated this key. You can copy it. So let's just check on this. So then select and copy the contents of the .pub file displayed in the terminal to your clipboard. Then log into your GitHub account, and then under settings, access. So basically, we are going to log into our GitHub. So under settings, you can come here to SSH. And then you can add a new SSH key. You can give it a name. And then you can paste this uh, .pub. And then you can add the SSH key. So once it's added, you can go back to the terminal and try to clone the enterprise add-on which is what we are going to do. So, if you try to clone the enterprise files, now it's success successful. Okay, that is done. So next we are going to update the add-ons path parameter of your odoo.config file. So if you open the directory opt odoo, you will find the enterprise directory with the enterprise add-ons which you can check. So if you just uh, cd to just see where we are. Okay. So if we...
So we can see there's a folder which has been uh, cloned here called enterprise. And uh, the next part is uh, we are going to change the config file and add that folder. So to do that, we can just come here and copy this to edit the configuration file. <coughs> Okay, so you can just uh, come here and edit. Then you can save this. That is done. So next we are going to start the Odoo service by running this command. So we can come here and just uh, run this command. You can just check uh, So we can check uh, the status. So the service is running. So, so we open the Udo community and activate the developer mode. So we, if we go back to our Udo community, Uh, we can come and activate the developer mode. After we activate the developer mode, we go back to apps. And then from the apps, you can come here and say click uh, update apps list. You can say update. So once that is done, we want to install uh, a module called uh, web enterprise. Then you can activate it. So once that is done, if you come here under uh, settings and uh, you check, you see now that you're on enterprise and in case the icons come like this so what happens is that uh, sometimes there's some uh, static files that uh, do not appear so you can just come here and search for the base module and then you can come here and say upgrade
so once it uh, updates the base module the icons uh, now are now okay so once you upgrade from community to enterprise edition you need to input the subscription id you received when you purchased odoo because right now it uh, comes with a uh, one month after that it expires so in case you have not purchased you can purchase from uh, odoo.com slash pricing where you can be able to choose uh, the option you want that concludes our video for today we have been able to upgrade odoo 17 community to enterprise for production in our next video, we'll be covering how to set up Engine X and access Udo on a domain. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. We welcome any questions or suggestions. So feel free to email us at info at softiqtechnologies.co.ke. And if you can subscribe and like our page, we will appreciate. Thank you.